Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on finding equivalent fractions. Now let's suppose I was to represent half in a graphical way. Well I could represent it as a pizza slice and then if I've got half a pizza I'm going to split this piece into two and I've got one of those halves. So that represents one half because we're taking one of the pizza slices out of two pizza slices. Now I could split this piece of pizza further without actually changing the amount of pizza I have. So if I was to split it like this, and my pizza is now split into four pieces. And how many of those pieces do I have? Well I have two out of the four pieces of pizza. So we could therefore write this fraction as two out of four. But it's the same amount of pizza. So that half of pizza we originally had is the same as two quarters of a pizza. So these two fractions are therefore equal. So we can see the answer here is two. Now the way to do this without having to draw a diagram each time is just to think, well, whatever I do to the bottom number, the denominator, I have to do the same to the top number, the numerator. So in this particular case, I multiply the denominator by two and therefore you have to times the numerator by two also. And as long as those two numbers are the same, then you know those fractions are going to be the same. We say they're equivalent fractions as per the title. So let's look at this next one. Four fifths is the same as 12 watts. Well, let's see what we did to the four to get to the 12. Well, it seems that we multiplied that by three. So if we multiply the top by three, then we have to do the same to the bottom, the denominator. So we have to multiply that by three to keep it the same fraction. Five times three is 15. So four fifths is the same as 12 fifteenths. What about the last one? 25 thirty-fifths is the same as what sevenths? We can see to get from seven to 35 going backwards, we've multiplied by five. Or equivalently, we could go this way forwards we could say that we've divided the number by five. So for equivalent fractions, we can either times both top and bottom by the same number or divide the top and bottom by the same number. It's not okay to add or subtract because if I say had a half and I was to add, say, three to top and bottom, then the top you would have four and the bottom you would have five, but half a piece is certainly not equal to four-fifths of pizza, so they are not the same fraction. We can only times both numbers by the same thing or divide both numbers by the same thing. So if we divide the bottom by five, we also have to divide the top by five. 25 divided by five is five.